Hi. Um, here, um, this is the Excel basic series, right? Um, I actually want to draw. I'm going to draw a, a location map of my center uh, with some landmarks like Hawaii Mall, our business park, um, Tesco, and also the route. So I'm going to use Excel. First, I want a plain paper, so I'm going to wheel tab. I click on the wheel tab and look for shows group. Choose grid line, uncheck that. So I got a blank place of uh, land, and the heading is not really necessary for me as well. So I check that as well. Formula bars, and finally I. I will start drawing. Um, now, the drawing tools is actually in Insert tab. So click on that, and under the Illustrations group, choose Shapes. Yep, that's the shapes, right? And um, we got a few more shapes here, right? And you can just click this and start drawing. So let me think. Right. Um. Let's think about that. Um. Uh, for Puchung, then uh, I should have a very huge root. So that's the root. So I'm just uh, select and click and start dragging. Right. So maybe about this. This will be just nice. And uh, then Excel will show a format tab for this drawing shape. And I'm gonna change this to a gray color. So that's this represents the Jalan Pujung. Um I use this gray. And I don't need the outline, so I go to shape outline, change no outline. Now I got a simple representation of the roots. And the next thing is that always is that so I'm going to draw a box to represent our right business more uh, the IY mall, right? It's a shopping mall. So I'm gonna insert again shapes and then look for a text box. Right, you can use a text box or use a shape. And then let me show you one of this. So select a, sh uh, a shape and then draw a little one here. Again, do the same. Say give them a color, the paint color. Right? So that's the one, right? But okay, and then there's no our uh, shape, no shape. This is when you done this, right? Uh, I'm gonna put a label there. So the way to do is to go to insert. Again, shapes. Choose this text box, and then pick a. Once you select, and now you can select a place to put your text box. So maybe right here. Um, that will be inside, right? So I'm going to use undo. Like going to this top bar here, which is called the quick access to box. So, right. Notice that I can also use a shortcut key, which is Control Z. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to do one more. Right, but this time, I'm going to click here. Oh, let's just do the same. Right? So let's just go ahead and type this more. Right, I want more. Right, I want more. So what I've just done is to zoom in to this uh, page by going to the bottom and select minus or plus sign. So let's just select this. So I want more. Right. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change a select text and then change the color to gray color. Okay, maybe just I just use black and reduce the size. Right, once you select the text, this uh, intelligence pop up will show up. Decrease the more. Right, decrease this text. Right, decrease that and then center it uh, we have other formats uh, well 
that's about it, right? So let's do this. Yeah. There you are, right? Um, um, I will select the text box and uh, make sure there's no text outline. Now this, no, no shape outline. Okay, so that's done, right? I have more. So uh, I'm going to copy this so that I can make another more, which is the Tesco Pujo. So just click on this shape together uh, with the text, right? And then right click. Wow, this is very be careful, right? Um, right click again. But make sure you have this pop up, and now you can choose copy. And then go here, right click, and paste. Well, we just got one more more there right here. So I'm going to double click and change the text to Tesco Pujo. Um, we can say this is our Pusat five in Tesco which is nice for Pujo people where right? this is easier. This is quite easy to understand. Um, so these are the two major landmark, right? I'm going to create the third one again. Right, just select the text, right click, choose uh, copy, and then right here, right click, choose paste. Oh, sorry, it's going to be fast, right? Right click, select paste options, select use destination team. Okay. So that's one. Now if we change this to our business park. Our business park. This. Now you can adjust the the shape by going to one of this corner, right? And wait until you become a diagonal arrows and then you start dragging, click and drag click and drag it down so we got these words okay there's a mistake right so just tap again right? this is part double click you can even make it slice it and then click and drag it down again down. well that should do the tricks because this says I have business part test call um, um, so this is just really represents the idea um, with this we uh, put I put the rest of the text into the next line. Okay. Um, I can just delete this. So still have more data here, right? So we got this done. Um, then now I'm gonna create the next things right which is the uh, our business, uh, the Wan Puchong, but Wan Puchong is not a shape of, uh, right? Uh, I want to represent it uh, more closely, right? So it is really a, a an, an triangle. Uh, we can start with the isolates triangle. Well, notice that I have the same shape here as to what you find in the tab right shapes so this is another method right how do we get this to this QA right well select those command that you like to see we'll put it here on the QAT bar right right click on this and then choose add to quick access to bars right so to remove that just right click on the QAT and say remove from quick access to bar QAT I just try right, right do one more right uh access and say add to quick access to bar so that's the one right um now I can select this and choose ISO selects okay I got this one oh somehow somewhere so okay so um the shape of the it's not exactly like the ISO select, so I'm going to select this and then just adjust this point so we can see that we have a different angle. 
this is a very nice tool right so this is the one and again I want to uh, say I want to make uh, some larger shapes maybe the wig I will like make this even thicker six six point right select the shape go to shape outline right this one six six point and uh, but this time in the middle I want the MP so I just select the shape again but this time we use no fill no fill right no fill and um, I'll select the shape and then click and drag to a different area uh, I should be somewhere here and then I start rotating the shape by clicking this and click and start dragging um, I'll drag it here so drag it here Oh uh, yeah, that's that's how uh we can uh dragging we can rotate a shape right oh uh, every of this can rotate you can see that it uh, can rotate but this is not necessary so put it here um then uh in front of a center right actually there is a small petrol station so I'm going just to uh, one more um I can make use of this. Uh, again right select the days and right click choose copy or you can use ctrl c once you selected the shape ctrl c to copy then deselect the shape and say ctrl v notice that that ctrl v is to paste and uh, i'm going to say it's just patron patrol station right and then uh, right here so there's one petrol station right here mm. but this occupy too much space so uh, I decide not to use this but to have another box right here so I'll go here and choose another type of circle so somewhere here somewhere here I'll give that another gray shape maybe this no shape fail okay so right here and I'm going to remove the background no fill and just put it right here say okay um, so notice that once I put it here right the the words petrol is gone right so what you can do is just you can just right click on this text box right right click and let's just bring to front bring to front notice that the word petrol is now on the front this is very handy isn't it so um, that's one right um, so I'm going to copy this main word as well right oh, but I find that it's just too much too exaggerated this is not really needed and I'll just copy this paste it right here do a do a vertical check um, and start minimizing it minimizing it and um, right somehow there is a roots okay so uh, this is not needed double click So roughly the um, this uh, outset is somewhere here. Okay, and um, so I'm going to put a circle right here to depict that to denote that that is uh, my center locations. So again, I go here, look for a oval shape somewhere here. Right, this is the place. Where the center located, and uh, I'm gonna put a circle. Uh, orange will be nice. Uh, there's no shape. Okay, so right here. So then I can also put um, an arrows. Put it here, so it's easier 
for my customer to see where is that location that's one now for this uh, line there is no way to sh uh, fill a shape because it just consists of lines so I can make use of this uh, or this or this or this why I think is that um, it's okay to use a maroon yeah well we choose this then there you are, right? So we got this line, and um, we can still change the width, thicker, smaller, right? Maybe nicer. Okay, we've done this right now. I'm gonna copy this text view again, right? Again, Control C, Control V, and um, I'm gonna type the my address twenty six dash two Jalan. OP1-5 we start perjagangan 1 to jump 47160 Solano Malaysia ok so this is the typical um, map and um, I can even put my address uh, the Handphone uh, or company telephone numbers, G3, or my telephone numbers. So we got this, and um, okay, so here's good, right? Uh, we can say uh, some directions are just nice, right? Uh, maybe here. So again, you can see that I'm just using a copy and paste idea. Uh, this time I change it to some different other color, right? Um, maybe this would be nice. Maybe this. All right. So that's one. And pick on this, paste it here. Right. Say um, you can say from Cyber Jaya to Trajaya. Right. That's one. And um, have another one, copy and move. And uh, I wonder if I can just do a selection. Yeah, you see, you can just so click on this and start dragging, so you can change the directions. Click and drag in the middle. Click and drag in the middle to control where its positions. Uh, again, copy this paste put it here from um, back could be from somewhere or PJ okay that's one so if I want more detail I can just copy this and paste it right here so there's a turning um, Turning right again. Remember, right? If you want to make the text to uh, bring to the front before this page, right? You just select the text box and right-click, choose bring to front. Yeah, that's right. Bring to front. There you are, right? From say, uh, and then uh, uh, many people remember things by tour as well. So I'm going to create another tour, right? Make use of this copy and paste it right here because it just depict that this is a tall and then uh, this is tall right here and you put there so for tall so that's tall Really nice. So um, I want to tell right uh, what is this map about. So you just put there location okay, map to creative wise example hut. Uh, so that's one. Then I can just just the, the code changing the line the the color of the text right. 
color of the text well that's it right so how do you reach my uh, center right you can either from cyber giant you pass the test code uh, all the way before here you make a u-turn and then go see when you see petrol station right uh, you about to turn right turn right so right so that's a good idea right turn right so um, you then make a u-turn right turn right and then into the that center itself so let's just make it a bit more nicer just a bit more nicer Going to change that. This is an even smaller root. Somewhere here. Yep, that's I'll uh, enter the that areas. Well, just a small dictate, right? So we say turns into it, and then start looking at this and. Are not right as well. Somewhere here, right? So, make a U turn, put it here for Tesco or Hawaii, right? And um, you can even put uh, an image right here. So, that's how I create my uh, location map to create device in the parts. Um, make some nice color, right click, change to once you right click in 2010 you have this pop make a lighter color maybe this maybe this, maybe this. maybe it's not necessary just control Z but it's right here uh, let me just readjust this but right here so come here or here or make a U-turn so I think I need an extra cursor somewhere here. So this is one of the way. Not really right. Okay, so this is one. Um I want to indicate that there is a turning. Right, but these are too big, too big an error. So, uh, but any chance to decrease that? Well, they are right, something minor, but still not something we like. So, I'm going to use an arrow right here so these are huge arrows so delete this select and drag it to the right and uh, just like that just put oh yellow no shape fill so we got one copy this Paste it here, do a circle, maybe here, maybe okay, turn it in here, and um, another. right here make another turn immediately so I guess this represents a good U-turn um, so this is the map and um, now we're gonna use some heading so you can see that by zooming out, we can draw a a border. Selecting this, go to home, look for fonts. 
and then here look for border outside border so we've got a border location map to so certain places right that's indicates to my center so we pass by Tesco Merlins and uh, a petrol stations right next things you can improve is that you can put even a logo right here so it's much easier uh, petrol stations like Tesco uh, that's a sum of the landmark so uh, so that in that they can easy to reference where is uh, my center located okay so that is for today's lessons um, I hope you learned something this is for the basic series thank you